Hi there, it's Anthony from Handmade Web in Bury, New South Wales, Australia. I'd like to show you how to resize images in Photoshop um, so that uh, when you are trying to put an image onto a website, you can see how to make it the right size and the right shape. This is one of the most common questions that we get asked and it becomes a bane of the existence of many people who are trying to size images in Photoshop. Uh, or size images for their websites. Now, this is presuming you have Photoshop. Photoshop elements will work in a similar way. Um, suffice it to say, what we need to do is to uh, find out what the size of the image that it needs to be uh, and um, open our image up and then resize the image to the size it needs to be. So, the first thing I'm going to do is open an image and we'll do that just like opening any file in any program. So we go file, open, navigate through your desktop or hard drive until you find the image that you want to open. So I've opened an image here that's come straight off of a camera. When I go to image, image size, this is going to show me how big this image actually is. At the moment, the image is at 3,264 images, uh, 3,264 3, pixels wide and 2,448 pixels high. That's much too big for what we're going to, to want to do. As you can see here, this number here says 22.9M. That's the actual size of the image in, in bytes or megabytes. So it's 22.9 megabytes. It's far too large for um, uh, display on any website. It would need to get down to um, something around uh, less than 500 kilobytes to be something that is um, displayable on the web. You also notice this number here, which says resolution 180 pixels per inch. Now we're talking in pixels here because that's um, all that the web uh, images are measured in is in pixels. We never talk about centimeters, millimeters. Um, we talk about pixels, and the reason for that is because of this resolution thing. Um, obviously, uh, if this reads uh, 72 dots per inch or pixels per inch, then the size in centimeters is going to change. Uh, or this, this, the amount of pixels is going to change according to the size of the image. So, um, so we try to always deal, deal in pixels because that's the absolute size of the image. I'm just going to undo that. So, first thing we need to understand is how big does our image need to be? Well, we're going to size this image for uh, Facebook, and Facebook cover images are 851 pixels by 315 pixels. So 851 wide by 315 high. Um, and most of the time you you should know how big the image needs to be um, in width at least um, to fit in your web page. So now that I have this image open, um, I need to change the, the size and the shape of the image. In the left panel of tools, we'll see this this one here, which is our crop tool. If I click on that, you'll see that it gives me a, a list of options at the top here. Now, I've actually preset this already. I'm just going to clear that away so that you can see what it would look like if nothing was set in here. This here might be set to just ratio. That's the typical defaults to default um, setting for the crop tool. What you should do is go down to WH resolution, which is going to allow us to crop this to a particular size and resolution. Resolution being that dot per inch thing we were looking at a minute ago. So now I'm going to type into here the size that I want the image to be. 851 pixels by 315 pixels. So that's changed the shape. Of this so that looks more like the shape of a Facebook cover image. The last thing it's asking me for here is this pixels per inch. Now most of the time you're going to the number for that is going to be 72 dots per inch. If you're um, dealing in retina displays or, or so, uh, files that are for viewing on iPads with high resolutions or, or um, Macs with high resolutions then that number might be 150. However, um, most of the time it's going to be 72. So go with 72 if you're not sure. 
All right, so we now have um, 851 by 315 by 72. And what I can do now is I can drag this up and down like so, and it will change what where that is going to get cropped. Okay, so I'm going to drag this up here, and so that's what I like. How I'd like it to crop. The purpose of the illustration is what you now. And I'm going to double click. And you'll see what that's done now is it's changed this to a smaller image. Now, if I go back to image image size again, it will now tell me it's 851 pixels by 315 pixels at 72 dots per inch. And all I need to do now is go to save for web. change my settings to JPEG, which is the most typical one, change my quality settings, and you'll see here you've got two images, the top one being um, the original, and the bottom one being the JPEG. Um, you'll see here also this file size, so this is 65 uh, kilobytes, which is much better than 22.9 megabytes. Um, that number, will s this, is this last thing here says two seconds at one megabits per second, so that's the connection speed, how fast it would um, download at what if you were at a connection speed of one megabit byte per second, which is about a, a typical broadband connection. So if I want to um, change this, um, I can change the quality settings um, so that I can reduce the amount of quality here. You'll see if I change this down to 20, um, what happens is, is that uh, this number goes right down and if I look between the two images, I can see what's happening to the image. It's in this case, it's actually not too bad um, to change it right down to that to that quality of 20. So I may as well make the image uh, as small as possible, as in the file size as small as possible. If I put this to zero, you'll see that this starts to get a little bit blurry looking, um, and that's probably too much. So I'm going to try um, setting this to 10. Not happy with that, not crisp enough for my liking, so I'm going to go to 20. And 20 is probably a, a pretty good one. Oftentimes, it have to be up as much as um, 60 or 70 before you um, get the right quality of image, look, uh, so it doesn't look too uh, what we call crunchy. Um, once you've set that quality um, and you are satisfied with the look of this, you can then go save, and then you can save that wherever you'd like to save it. Make sure you rename the file as something new if you so you don't overwrite your old one. Let me call it Facebook. Okay, and that is how you go about resizing images uh, to the right dimensions in Photoshop.